Hey everybody, Shane here, Shoebox Legends. Thanks for joining me today as I get into the festive holiday spirit this season. Uh, thanks to the kindness of a couple of longtime YouTubers uh, here in the card community who took it upon themselves to just unbeknownst to me, send me a surprise holiday care package or just because package, uh, which is, you know, just so thoughtful. I'm trying to do uh, the same thing myself this time of year. I've sent out a couple already and I have more going out this week. Uh, but as I always seem to say here on the channel, uh, seems like there's more generosity coming my way than I'm possibly able to put back into the hobby, uh, no matter how hard I try. So uh, we're going to look at two packages today, uh, which are honestly just the first two of a few uh, that have shown up uh, this holiday season from the YouTube community. And I have some uh, festive unopened wax in the background there just to give you uh, something to look at while we got through the intro. Figured the uh, red and green was appropriate. And let's get to now the first of two care packages that I am going to cover in today's video. This one is from my buddy Saul over at BD Kane 721 uh, the master Topps Chrome Collector. I've talked about Saul before because, honestly, he's sent me stuff in the past. This is not uh, the first time that he's gone out of his way to uh, bestow some wonderful cards upon me, so... Uh, really, really appreciate it. Uh, Saul is a great guy living out on the West Coast. Uh, Padres fan, so sorry to hear about uh, about Juan Soto and the goings on there. But um, just an awesome guy here in the community. I'm sure you probably know him. Um, he's the only other person I know that's ever collected a complete Topps Chrome Atomic Refractor set from 2011. So we are uh, cardboard brothers in that sense. But uh, doesn't do Saul justice to... Uh, just, you know, relay that one fact about him because he really has an amazing collection. Um, great, you know, just as I said, ultimate Topps Chrome collector. Uh, in fact, he completes a Topps Chrome set of a different parallel um, every single year. And I think is either wrapping up or just wrapped up the 2023 rendition of that. So there's a nice card included here to Shane Shoebox Legend. So let's start with the card, obviously. And uh, yeah, the, the generosity, I just, it really means a lot to me. It's just very, very touching to uh, receive a Christmas card or a holiday card like this and some bonus cards in the mail. Sending you joyous Yuletide greetings. Dear Shane, thanks for all the support in 2023 and keep up the great videos. Happy holidays. Your friend Saul, BD Kane 721 So uh, thank you so much, Saul. I'm going to keep this. Uh, I keep all the holiday cards that I get. Uh, around this time of year from people in the cardboard community. So that'll be stored away, uh, left out on display for the rest of this holiday season, and then uh, stored with some of my YouTube notes. And uh, looks like we have a couple of packets of cards here. And, uh, you know, just perfect after the intro that I gave. Saul being the king of tops chrome. We have some Xander Bogarts chrome. So from 2022, how about this pink refractor? Um, and these are perfect because I am still working on the Xander Z folio. I know I've shown it off before and it's getting very, very close to being full. So I will do another video when we reach that point and check this one out. This is like a speckled mini diamond or something, I, I think. Um, you know, Saul can correct me in the comments. He'll definitely know the proper name of this parallel, but it looks like a mini diamond uh, effect like I've seen on the Gilded cards of late. And it's got that nice black and white texture. How awesome is that? What a cool card. There's uh, Xander's stats with Boston at the time. So a couple of great ones there, and we'll put that one out on display. Really, really dig that. Look at the way the light is catching that. I do not have either of these, and they are exactly the kind of material that I want uh, in that Xander Z. Just shiny goodness, and uh, preferably Red Sox era. No offense. Um, and then we have uh, another packet here, and yeah, right on the top, this one has a really nice card because this is the blue refractor of Xander's 2019 issue, which is serial numbered to just 150, I know. Check that out. Man, that's incredible. Thank you so much, Saul. And then we have the x fractor to go with that. So a couple of pairs of matching Topps Chrome Xander refractors from uh, the man who, in my estimation, is the king of Topps Chrome uh, here in our community. Uh, just really, really honored to have these from your collection to mine, Saul. Uh, means a lot. And, you know, more than that, I, I just appreciate the sentiment and you going out of your way to reach out uh, and send those uh, around this time of year. Just so, so kind of you. And uh, really appreciate all of your support. Likewise, uh, and your watching of my content, your wonderful comments, 
and uh, everything that you bring to the community here on YouTube. So huge thank you again to Saul. And again, uh, links to both of these channels are going to be in the description below. Uh, so in the event that you're not subscribed, please give these guys a visit. You will not regret it. Uh, and you won't find any nicer gentlemen than these in our community. And the second and final channel for today's video, just to keep these from going too long, Jason, my buddy Jason over at Mr. Fisher Bike. YouTube uh, member who's been on here for like, honestly, I think well over a decade. He is like an OG uh, YouTube card community guy, uh, fellow Red Sox fan. So obviously great taste uh, living down there in Florida and uh, just really enjoy Jason's content and his positive approach uh, to seemingly all things, but certainly the hobby. And uh, check this out, this is too cool. Definitely the first time I have received a YouTube channel branded keychain. How awesome is that? So Jason has done a great job with this Mr. Fisher bike logo here, getting in, you know, not only the Red Sox colors and logo, as I mentioned, he's a Red Sox fan, but also a nice smattering of the types of cards that he enjoys and is into in the hobby. And he has turned that new logo into this keychain. That is so awesome. And this will be stored. I do have like a hobby related keychain section in my desk here where I have my uh, original top stadium club keychain that I got from being a member uh, back in the early 90s. And I will put this one with it from Jason. That's fantastic. And then along with that on the branding front, look at this. He got coasters made up. This is a Mr. Fisher bike coaster. Love that. Uh, I mean, th this is infinitely cooler than the coaster that I was using beforehand. And uh, I don't really mention it much on the channel. I guess why would I? But um, I am a coffee addict and a huge uh, Starbucks guy specifically. So uh, most mornings, Leo and I head over to the drive through there, uh, pick up uh, some cold brew. And uh, this will be my new go-to coaster here in my uh, hobby headquarters, my home office. So really, really awesome. Great job with those. And uh, these are just really, really well done. So I don't know uh, who you contracted to make these, Jason, but awesome work. And then uh, this is kind of cool too. Jason included this, which appears to be a wrapped card here. I love this concept. I'm trying to wrap at least some of the stuff that I'm sending out to some of my hobby buddies. I'm not batting a thousand on that front, but we're going to go ahead and open this a uh, couple weeks or you know, a week or two prior to Christmas here, because why not? All right, and we have a note on top, which we'll start with. Shane, enjoy this small Christmas package of sexy cardboard. All right, Merry Christmas, your pal Jason, MFB, Mr. Fisher Bike. So let's see what we got here. And it looks like there is a common theme in today's video. I did not uh, know this, you know, prior to opening, but we have some more Red Sox cards. So this is going to be a Red Sox themed mail day. Check this out. Kike Hernandez, A&G Mini, and I love, I just want to go out of my way to say this, so let's look at the back first. Cool card here of Kike, and uh, I love that Jason has these proper penny sleeves that actually position the mini card in the middle of the top loader. I'm trying to get my hands on some of these for a project that I have going on, and uh, the seller that I bought them from is a little bit delayed, but um, really, really dig those. I love the way those present. And this is a great A&G Mini, so thank you for that. And then uh, continuing on the Allen & Ginter Mini front, check this one out. I, I, have, I have to be honest with you, I've never seen this card. And not only that, but I, I don't recognize this design at all. It's, it's definitely Allen & Ginter. I can see the AG here. I'm going to assume this is a 2023. Yeah, 2023 Allen & Ginter. So the latest... A and G set. This is my first card of any sort from 2023. Allen and Ginter. Just an awesome Yaz there. Great stuff. Yaz still with us here this holiday season. So two awesome A and G minis. And then check this out. Man, Jason has a killer collection. He's done some videos on it recently, uh, as well as over the years, but recently as well on his Red Sox collection that includes, you know, relics and autos. And check this out. Dwight Evans Masterful Material from SP Legendary Cuts, a really, really like classy looking card design here. Just awesome, and I, I really miss Upper Deck Baseball. Here's a look at the back. Man, that's really cool. And uh, this one has language as well, uh, indicating that this is uh, material certified uh, to Upper Deck, 
as having been used in an official Major League Baseball game. So that is an awesome Evans card there. Guy who you don't hear much about it. Unfortunately, he was, you know, a member of the team during a period where they didn't, you know, win any championships and they, they kind of had some rough years, some good years as well. But um, I think Dwight Evans deserves more discussion in our hobby, especially among Red Sox fans. So I'd love to see that. And then this is awesome. Check this out. Dual Auto here. Another Upper Deck card from Upper Deck Premier, which was like a high-end release. Emerging Stars, Jonathan Papelbon and Craig Hansen. A couple of fireballers, uh, relievers back in the day. Just awesome. Papelbon, of course, you know, love him or hate him. He had a very energetic and interesting personality during his time in Boston. Um, so he always made the headlines one way or another, and he certainly brought a lot of passion uh, to the mound. So these are two guys that, uh, you know, in Papelbon's case, played a pretty significant role with the franchise. And uh, in Craig Hansen's case, I remember him uh, pretty fondly as well. That was, you know, this was during an era where my Red Sox fandom was at like a premium or a peak. And I was going to, you know, maybe like a dozen games a year in person and watching probably the majority of them. Uh, from start to finish on uh, on TV, you know, when I couldn't be there in person. So a lot of fun memories of this era of the Red Sox, and uh, this autograph will definitely be cherished uh, here in my collection. So that is the final card uh, in today's video. Just wanted to get on here and, and give these two gents uh, my sincere thanks. Uh, it means, you know, so much to me that the two of you would go out of your way uh, to kind of make my holiday season and send me these uh, wonderful cards. So Huge thank you again to Saul, BD Kane 721 and to Jason, Mr. Fisherbike. Please visit their channels below. Again, if you're not already subbed, uh, I'll reach out to you guys as well just to convey my personal thanks, uh, but wanted to record this on video. And to everybody else, I appreciate you stopping by. Uh, I have more great holiday gifts that I've been spoiled with uh, from this great community, as well as some awesome cards that I've picked up on my own, uh, all coming to the channel soon. Uh, so I hope you're enjoying the holiday season out there. And I'll be back very soon with some more content. Till then, enjoy the hobby, everybody. See ya.